Good morning from Starkey Farmstead. Today we're gonna to talk about an issue with some tomato plants I noticed. I also wanna point out, see those thunder clouds up behind my head? We have gotten five inches of rain in 72 hours. And it should rain every day for the next four or five days. I had predicted in one of our other videos we could get up to 10 inches of rain with this little weather pattern that's going over us. And it looks like here at Starkey Farmstead in Greensburg, Louisiana, we are going to get those 10 inches of rain in seven days. <clears throat> so what I noticed in my tomatoes this morning was I had a beautiful tomato plant two days ago that at the very top had kind of wilted. So let's walk out to the garden, take a little field trip. I'm gonna show you this plant. I'm gonna tell you what we figured out was wrong with it and how we are gonna handle this organically here at Starkey Farmstead. All right, when I was doing my morning walkthrough at about six o'clock this morning, I noticed that this plant had not recovered. I first noticed the top of this plant right here had folded over last night. So I knew to just kind of keep an eye on it today. And when I came out, it was even worse. Now, there's nothing on the leaves. There's no pest eating this plant. What I noticed when I pulled back the hay, do you see this? This, my friends, is a fungus. I can't even say it correctly, I don't think. I think she said it was fus fusimal fungus, but you can see what it's doing. It's tearing up the root system, all right? So there's a couple of things we're gonna have to do. What I did do was pull back the hay on the plant beside it. I didn't see any of the symptoms. Looked at this beautiful plant, said, well, it's right next to it. Let me take a check. And you can see it right here. So how are we gonna handle this fungal issue at our root system? I am going to pull up both of these plants. I'm gonna take off the tomatoes that are on them and I'm gonna fry green tomatoes tonight for supper. Sometimes you have to take your lemons and make lemonade. But I am gonna remove both these plants. They will not go into our compost. They will go into our burn bin. And I will be spraying every plant you see behind me all the way down. And that is just a preventative. Uh, the second thing that I was advised to do by Miss Donna Isaacs with Camp Deep Field of Dreams, who is not just a friend, but an educator, but she's a mentor to me. Um, I say this a lot, get people in your boat that are rowing in the same direction you're going. I called her on the second ring she answered. I sent her pictures, she immediately identified the fungus for me. You need that, guys. You need those type of people that believe in what you're doing in whatever type of gardening you're doing. But if you're in South Louisiana right now, I advise if you see any of your tomato plants, do this right here overnight, pull back and take a look at your root system. You might have a fungus. Back to what I was saying though, the second thing that she suggested that I do is pull the hay back a couple of inches and make a round opening around all of the plants for a little bit of better airflow we are expecting to get a good bit more rain. We just talked about that. What that means is, I don't know if you can see how wet this is on me. I have been out here since six o'clock. It is now 10 o'clock in the morning and I have sweated and sweated and sweated. It's so humid. It's so humid right now. So if I'm sweating like this, my plants, their pores are opening too. We need to think through that. Like you, I keep saying that the best deterrent against, against pest and disease in your garden is you in your garden. Know your plants. I spend four hours a day with this eighth of an acre of a garden that's planted. So I know these plants, I feel like they're almost my friends. So when I see a plant that doesn't look like it did 
two hours before or the day before, the evening before, I know that that plant is in distress and I start digging around and, and noticing like you would a friend. I'm just trying to, to help out my friends, the plants here. I'm also trying to help you out. Get out there in your garden. If you have it mulched, go ahead, give it a good mulch. Just leave a little space around your root systems for all this rain so that when that mulch absorbs all that water and it begins to heat back up and dry back up, you give it a little bit more airflow and that will help reduce your chance of funguses. But if you do have plants that are coming down with this fungal disease, you do need to pull them out of your garden and you do need to burn them. Do not compost them. You guys have a blessed day coming to you from Starkey Farmstead. Here's a tip for you. This morning at six o'clock, I got up and made a worm casting tea and comfrey foliar spray for all of my plants. And I sprayed the whole garden. <clears throat> it was after spraying that. I gave it about an hour, came back out, checked that tomato plant again, realized I'm not seeing anything happen here, but it's wilting as the day is getting hotter. It's wilting more and more and more. That's when I pulled the hay back, noticed the fungus. So you have to intimately know your plants, but if you are looking for good worm castings, we make them here at Starkey Farmstead and we sell them. And my father, Papa Sammy and Alley Bug, YouTube channel, Papa Sammy also makes worm castings. We make them, you can purchase them from us in 25 pound bags. You can use that to side dress your plants and you can make your own worm casting tea. It is very easy to make. My dad has a YouTube channel video up right now on that, on Papa Sammy and Alley Bug's YouTube channel on how easy and quick it is to make your worm casting tea. What do worm castings do? Well, they help fight funguses, bacteria, root rot. You just need to um, really amend your soil, but think through the humidity that we're in right now. You probably see the sweat literally running down my face right now. I'm standing in the, in the shade of an oak tree. It's very humid out here. That's gonna make funguses grow so you know that moist heat just creates a breeding ground for those type of, types of organisms. So if you are looking for worm castings, rabbit manure, anything like that, even rabbit urine to boost your garden, to give it a chance to make it through this crazy weather that we're having this year. I've got 400 feet of tomatoes planted behind me that I'm now going to have to baby and watch over because we're a first year market garden. Like our entire intent is to grow toxin free food for our community and ourselves. So this is, this is a dollar bill thing for me. Not just, it hurts my heart. I wanna be the best gardener, best farmer that I can be, but it hurts my heart because I know the time and the effort that I've put into this and to have something creep up on me, but I thank God that I have been diligent and fervent in everything that I've done with this garden. I love it. I love doing what I do. I wake up at six, I'm excited. And because of that, we were able to catch it early and we will conquer it because I can think through things with a brain. God, you know, he gave us a brain so that we give him a break. So guys, again, have a blessed day. Subscribe, please, if you haven't already done so. Remember, we'll be gearing up to start giving tours on the property. In August, we have a few people that already come out and done small tours, but we'll be gearing up for a little bit larger. So you guys have a great day. Get out there, multiply and prosper for your family. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We just want to give you an opportunity. If you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord or Savior, we would like to encourage you to repeat this prayer out loud. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask Jesus to come into my heart ask you to forgive me for my sins, wash me in his blood, rejuvenate me, Lord, help me to make better choices and fill me with the Holy Spirit. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Have a blessed day and go out there, prosper, and multiply.